This is K9WLW. I have yet another cross node that I wanted to demonstrate with your Pi Star. It's uh, called YSF to P25. I showed in the last couple of videos how to do YSF to DMR and also uh, YSF to NXDN. There is one more available cross mode from your YSF radio on your Pi Star known as YSF to P25. It is yet another digital network that you have access to if you have a Pi Star hotspot and a Yesu Fusion radio. And it's not difficult to set up. I'm going to show you the configuration. Uh, in the MMDVM host configuration, you, of course, have your YSF mode turned on. And then in the cross mode list below, you'll see YSF to P25. Also turn that switch on, and then you hit the apply changes here and wait for it to update. And after it updates, it will again expand your Yesu system fusion configuration section slightly. Um, now again, normally I have my YSF startup host as none. What you want to do is you want to click on the startup host or tap on it and look for the very fourth one down. It's YSF0000 zero four link YSF to P25. So you load that, tap that and load that as your startup host. It, instead of linking to America's link or something, just have it set up to link to YSF to P25. It's the fourth one from the top. I have the uppercase host files turned off. Again, that is only supposed to be used if you're using an FT70. But all the other fusion radios, you leave that off. The wires X pass through, I leave on so that I can make wires X commands in this cross mode. Of course, you'll need a DMR ID minus the 3128401. So if you already have a DMR ID, that should be the same number that we use on P25. And then you can also choose a P25 startup host. Uh, I set it to default to none, so that way when I connect, I'm not linked to any reflector, and I use the wires X button to select my P25 reflectors, and I'm going to demonstrate that. So I've already got the uh, YSF to P25 connected. You hit apply changes to make sure that's loaded in, and then you go to the admin page. Oops. And then I'm, I fat fingered my browser. Okay, sorry about my camera work here, folks. I don't have a professional camera. Admin page is where I do my operations from once I'm, I'm situated or set, set up. You can see here in the modes enabled, you have YSF enabled, and you also have YSF cross mode or X mode enabled. And those should be both green. If they're not green, if they're yellow, orange, or anything else, then there's something wrong with your configuration. If they're both green, that means both the modes are operational. And then in the network status, you should have YSF net highlighted in green, as well as YSF to P25 highlighted in green. So if you've got all green, 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 you're good to go and ready to roll. And, of course, when you go further down in the corner of the admin page, you'll see your YSF network is YSF to P25. And in the case of this one, I already have it linked into a talk group, so let me uh, unlink from that real quick. I should have set it up unlinked from the start, so my apologies. Let me do a quick unlink from the, the P25 reflector. All right, I just did an unlink, and you'll see my P25 network is not linked. I still have the YSF to P25 up and running, as you can see there. The P25 
T25 network is unlinked. Now, I'm going to get over to the radio, which is a Yaesu FT2D that has the Wires X button. And I want to show how the Wires X button can come in uh, very useful to navigating through this network. Okay, let me turn the Wires X off. And let me switch hands here so I can hold it steadier, hopefully. Sorry if I got this camera work. Okay, I'm going to hit tap the Wires X button to address the hotspot. And you'll see that it's connected now, and it says Talk Group 9999. That is the P25 unlink talk group. So when you link to P25 9999, it will unlink the P25 reflector. Uh, kind of works the same way as it does on the NXDN cross mode. Okay, now I've stored some NXDN or P20, I'm sorry, P25 reflectors in my folder. So I'm going to hit search. Now you can hit search all, and it will actually go through the numerical order of all the available P25 reflectors, starting with the unlink at the top. You can connect to it, you can add it, store it in a folder. Okay, it'll show 20 at a time. If you want to go further down the list, you hit the down arrow. Okay, so that's one method. And again, these are all P25 reflectors. It, since I've cross-moded it, it's only going to show P25 reflectors in the all. All right, let me back out. And I'm going to show you, I have a separate folder for YSF reflectors, FCS reflectors, DMR talk groups. I have a separate folder for NXDN reflectors and talk groups, and also one for P25. So I'm going to tap on the P25 one, because I've already stored a few in there. And we're going to navigate to some of the stored ones. Okay, I've got uh, the unlink I stored it there. I've got reflector 31171, which is known as Illinois Link. I've got P25 Worldwide. I've also got P25... 31088, which I think is Colorado HD. So I'm going to connect to 31171 P25 reflector. So I'm going to tap that. Sometimes it's a little quirky. I'll do it again. There we go. It should be. Okay, so you can see it connected to 31171. I hit the back key, and you can see it here. Now there's one little other quirk about P25 cross-moding that doesn't apply to cross-moding to the other modes. That is that the in order to be heard on the network, I gotta get out of Wires X mode. The reason is because when you use the Wires X mode, it defaults to the DN digital mode, digital narrow. If I key up in digital narrow mode, nobody on the P25 reflector is going to hear me. You have to switch your radio to voice wide mode in order to be heard on the network. Okay, now I've also got my DMR radio connected to uh, Illinois Link on Brandmeister. So I'm going to test to make sure I'm coming through with the VW mode. So let me pick up the radio. We'll take a look over here at the DMR radio and I'll do a key up here on P25. This is K9WLW testing. K9WLW testing. Okay, a little bit broken up. Maybe I need to set the uh, offset in the hotspot a little bit. K9WLW testing the P25 reflector. Okay, so I'm coming out the DMR because it's a multi-mode digital group, but I'm coming through the P25. Now, if I switch the radio back to digital narrow, which we normally use for all the other cross modes and also on the Fusion Network, I'll transmit and nothing is going to happen. K9WLW testing, not coming through the network in digital narrow. So the odd quirk is, is you have to set to be heard on P25, you have to switch it back to VW mode in order for them to hear you. And when the hotspot talks back to you, 
I'm going to key up on my DMR radio and you're going to see the traffic comes back to me in VW mode. This is K9 WLW testing. This is K9 WLW testing. Sorry about the volume blast. But it is it is in voice wide mode and you can see uh, that the audio came out in voice wide mode. So just remember when you cross mode to P25 after you've linked in, you've got to get out of wires X mode and then switch it to VW mode before you key up and then you should be good to go. Now if I want to do another talk group, I'll just hit the wires X button. See if I can get it to, there we go. I can search. I can go to other P25 reflectors. And let's say I wanted to go to worldwide. I can just tap on that. Two, one, zero, one, zero, zero. Okay, it shows that I'm connected up here. I hit the back button. And you can see that I'm connected here. But remember, it always jumps back to digital narrow mode when you use the wires X button. So you've got to push and hold wires X, get it out of the wires X, change the mode, and you're ready to roll. When you want to do an unlink, all you have to do is hit the wires X button again. I'll go to search and direct. I'm going to go to my P25 folder. I'm going to go to my unlink folder or unlink group. There you go. It's unlinked, talk group 9999, and now I'm on standby. And you can, of course, verify that I'm not linked on the P25 reflector on the admin page. So it operates pretty much like the NXDN network cross mode that I had in the last video. The only difference is that you have to switch the radio into VW or voice wide mode in order to be heard on the network. So, if you have a Fusion Radio, if you have a Pi Star Hotspot, not only can you get to the YSF and FCS reflectors in the Fusion world, you can cross mode to DMR Brandmeister very easily. You can cross mode over to the NXDN network. And again, as I've showed you in this video, you can cross mode over to the P25 network. So that's it for the three cross modes. In the next video, I'm going to demonstrate, again, since we're already playing with the YSF cross modes, I'm going to demonstrate how you can actually configure the Pi Star very easily for all three of cross modes and YSF usage. Leave the dashboard alone and navigate amongst the four networks with nothing but wires X commands. Literally jumping from YSF to FCS to uh, DMR talk groups, to P25 talk groups, to NXDN, all with wires X commands. Once the hotspot's configured the way I'm going to show you in the next video, you literally have access to multiple networks at the touch of a button, literally, the wires X command button. So I want to demonstrate that in the next video, and I think uh, it might be pretty interesting to some of you, especially if you want to check out some cross mode. Uh, tricks and techniques. The Spy Star um, does seem to work quite well with the Wires X commands, and I really like the work the Pi Star folks have done on conf on configuring the Pi Star to allow us to do these things. So I'll say 73s for now, and again, my next video I'm going to demonstrate how to set it up for multiple cross modes all at once. 73s from K9WLW.